Okay, guys, I'm going to have to make this a part two because this stupid phone that I have here, this cheap old phone, decided it was going to quit on me. I had it on the charger so I wouldn't uh, lose my uh, power on the phone. And it went into some kind of saving mode and I lost my video from when I was telling you I was working on this uh, hood ornaments here. So this had to be part two. I'm sorry. But uh, this is it. This is what I got done. I was going to show you what all I got done. And I thought I got so upset at this stupid phone. But uh, to me, it looks better than red. I've got some imperfections in it. This is, it's a terrible day to paint anything. I can't get nothing to dry. I, I've waited way over an hour and still, you know, I got some, a few little fingerprints and thumbprints on it. I had it sitting out in the sun, but that was briefly because the clouds, as I said earlier, is rolling in. So, uh, in the meantime, I've done a little cleaning up around here and my wife, I don't know if she's going to like this or not. I'm going to see if she notices it, but this is supposed to be a dragonfly, but the head of it fell off or come up missing. I'm not really sure. So I got one of those old, old, uh, antenna, uh, toppers that goes on top of an antenna. In case you're a newbie, goes on top of there where you can kind of find your vehicle out in the parking lot. So I got one of those and poked a hole in it on the side. It had a stob sticking out. Got some old electrical tape that wouldn't no good anyway. And, uh, Try to make it look like some kind of creature. There's the legs. I need to cut that little bit of electrical tape off. That tape's not any good. I'll be surprised if it lasts during the next rain that we're supposed to get this evening. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if my wife will notice that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stand back here. This is my first time to stand back to it. I had to, I used that, uh, chrome paint. I had two cans, you know, one was Krylon, one was yard sale. I, I'm assuming probably brought over when Noah came uh Columbus came over but uh anyway I wound up using the old yard sale uh chrome spray paint and uh got it on there I went over it a bunch of times and uh like I said I I just can't get nothing to dry it's too dang cold out here to be fooling around but I hate being in the house all the time I was going to show you too this uh I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is yesterday when I was explaining stuff. That's the steering box that uh, Jeremy kindly donated to me from his 59 Chevy, uh, fi I'm sorry, 58 Chevy truck. I don't know why I keep saying 59, but it's 58. This is a 57. So uh, anyway, so th as I said, this whole thing is one big, long uh, unit together you can't separate them so that's my linkage tim's got all that rigged up good for me and uh he's also uh i told him could he do something this battery tray was on here when i got the truck as i said it set out in the field for years in alabama so uh, i had bungee cords holding my battery on i asked tim uh at gas x top shop could he rig up something really cheap for me so he did. And, you know, it's perfect for this old truck. Uh, done a lot to this old truck. Looking, just looking at the engine, I done away with the generator and got an alternator and new fuel pump, new carburetor. All this stuff is, carburetors and stuff are expensive. Had to get a new radiator, got an aluminum radiator. New hoses, new, new heater hoses. I mean, it's just one thing after another, you know. Plugs, wires, uh, stuff like that. So it's really stuff you got to save up for. I'm, you know, it takes a while to get all this stuff done, but I'm going to shut this hood. There we go. Now, tell me what you, <laughs> I, I, I'm still going to scuff it up a little bit, the hood ornaments, I mean. And make them look like they've been on their wall. I know it looks cheap. And I might come up with something else. I don't know. I might even come up with some more uh, hood, hood ornaments from an old car. Uh, and another thing. I was watching one of my videos. I guess the one I done yesterday. I normally watch it at least once. To see how many times I messed up. 
I did. I Just about every video, I mess up. I said in the beginning I had four Chevrolet trucks. Then later in the video I said I had four 57 GMC trucks. Let me re let me tell you what I what I've had. I've had three Chevrolet 57 Chevrolet trucks. Three and well no I take that back. I've had four and I've had one 57 GMC. So there you go. Just for my own satisfaction, I don't want to mislead or lie to anybody. But I, every time I look at this now, I see fingerprints where I, but I'm telling you, I've let it dry for forever. The wind was blowing, the sun was out, and anyway, uh, anyway, I was just going to show you what it looks like. Let me know if you like this or not. I can, I might do something with it and make it look pitted or something. I'm not sure. I, I get so disgusted sometimes, but everywhere I look, I see fingerprints and, uh, this one of my little boxes I had holding one of the, I need to put that up. Anyway, okay, I guess I just thought I'd show you what I was doing today. And I'm trying to stand back and get a better look at this thing. It don't look bad. I mean, you know, what the heck? It's an old truck. And, you know, it's just, it is what it is. At least it lets you know that it's you're going this way. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, the uh, my phone messes up a whole bunch. It's just no cheap phone. I it, uh, don't even have a name on it. I don't even know. Anyway, just no cheap phone. Anyway, appreciate you watching the video. Give me a big old thumbs up if you think it turned out good, or you enjoyed the video, or or like watching my mistakes. I'm. You know, I can, I make a lot of mistakes. But anyway, I'm trying to, what I'm looking for next is uh, vent shades. Man, they're proud of them things. Proud of them. You're talking like 50, 60 bucks, you know, for vent shades for one of these 57 Chevy trucks. I was, I'm trying to put as much, I don't want to call it bling, but I'm trying to make it kind of pop. So I figured some uh, stainless steel vent shades. Would kind of help it a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't know. Just I've been looking at them for a long time, but I, I I'd rather have used, but I can't seem to find used. I even thought about trying to find some used front bumper guards, but those are impossible to find too. And if you do a lot of, t if when I do find some, they're the painted. And of course, I'm looking for chrome, so I don't know. I don't even know if I'll get the vent shades anytime in the near future because as i said they're, they're awful proud of this stuff and priorities have to with life you know you got to kind of take care of them first before you can mess around with stuff like this right here so as i said this is a long drawn out process but this old truck just to get it to where it's at now i'm i'm proud of it but it's been long drawn out and sometimes pretty frustrating so Anyway, appreciate you watching the video. I'm sorry I had to make this two-parter. Let me know if you liked it. And uh, give me a big old thumbs up, as I said. Uh, please subscribe. That means a whole lot to me. Uh, share this with your friends. If you've got somebody else that's got a no Chevrolet truck like this, 55, 6, 7, 8, or 9, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I wish somebody would send me some pictures. I love getting ideas. from. I, I love these old trucks. I 57 because that's the year I was born for one thing but even when I was a kid these trucks I you know I just always liked this body style and uh you know they weren't meant to be comfortable they weren't meant for a lot of you know you look at new trucks now you know they got heat and air and you know uh you know they ride better than a car and uh, these old trucks these trucks were just made to work I mean people I've you know I've seen them with cattle racks on them, you know, they have cows, hogs, horses, whatever in the back of them and hauling everything in the world in the back and they, they weren't meant to be comfortable, they weren't meant to, you know, get your wife out and let's go to town kind of thing unless that's the only vehicle you had, but they're just kind of, you know, they rough, they ride rough, they steer like, like yesterday's video, they steer like an old uh, 63 year old truck and ride like one, bounce around rough riding, but that's you know, that's just the way they were made, so, 
and this one's no exception. So, anyway, appreciate you watching the video. I'll get long-winded. Hey, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Y'all have a good day. See you later.